Earth and ocean science is amongst the broadest and most multidisciplinary of all of the sciences. Understanding the Earth's interior, understanding the evolution of life on Earth, understanding past environmental change as a way to inform future predictions of climate change. We're addressing some of the most pressing problems within science. Cardiff University was uh, founded in 1883 and has established itself as one of the leading UK universities. And we're based in the thriving capital city of Wales. The university was ranked as fifth in the UK and second in terms of the impact of our research. The School of Earth and Ocean Sciences currently houses around 55 academics. This includes two Fellows of the Royal Society and a range of outstanding young academics. We're interested in curiosity-driven research as well as innovation-based studies. Our researchers are broadly divided into three groups, solid, living and changing earth and ocean. But our specific research is broken down into several themes that may lie within a certain group or straddle between different groups, highlighting our commitment to interdisciplinary research collaboration. My research focuses on the generation of oceanic crust at mid-ocean ridges. Um, I try to understand how new crust is formed and what the timescales of that process are. We use a state-of-the-art analytical scanning electron microscope um, for analysis and, and imaging of, of geological materials. Uh, it's got a unique combination of detectors uh, which enables us to, for the first time, um, image element distributions through even relatively large geological specimens. Using high precision dating techniques, we actually found that the, the time scales are much longer than we thought, uh, which implies that the magmatic system uh, that forms the crust is more, more complicated than, than we, we realised. Geochemistry is one of the real strengths of our school. I'm particularly interested in the stability of the Antarctic ice sheet, and the facilities at Cardiff have enabled me to develop methods to reconstruct the growth and decay of the ice sheet as levels of CO2 changed in the past. We have several mass spectrometers that allow us to analyse the elemental and isotopic composition of pretty much any sample. So we analyse everything from meteorites to microfossils to seawater. We use this data, this isotopic and elemental data, to answer questions. For example, how do volcanoes form? Um, how do oceans impact climate change? As well as our strength in basic research, we also uh, value applied research and impact. Uh, we have strong collaborations and ties with industry, including funding from the oil industry and mineral exploration companies uh, worldwide. Our research also has uh, impact outside of academia. Uh, following the recent devastating earthquake in Nepal, our research has helped to predict the future occurrence of landslides based on a unique program developed in-house by one of our young researchers, uh, Dr. Rob Parker. The breadth and excellence of the research that we carry out in the School of Earth and Ocean Sciences is also reflected in the research-led teaching that we have within the programmes that we offer at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels within the school. I'm a first year PhD student here at Cardiff University. I'm part of the group Paleoclimatology and I'm looking at ice volume changes and ocean properties over time and trying to make sense of the interactions. I think academically the school can compare with any other school. It's, uh, it's got great lab facilities and everything, great staff. The atmosphere is just amazing. It's very supportive, very inspiring. If I experience any problems, there's always someone to talk to. We're on the edge of the South Wales coalfield and we're on the coast. So we can do degree programmes from exploration and resource geology through to geology, environmental geoscience, environmental geography all the way through to marine geography. One of the unique things for students studying earth and ocean sciences in Cardiff is the huge mobility that is on offer to them. They can take a year out in industry and work as a placement year in their degree scheme. They can spend a year overseas at a university in America or in Australia. So there's a huge opportunity for students to travel as part of their studies here. Fieldwork is a fundamental part of earth and ocean sciences and at Cardiff we're very fortunate that we're on the coast and yet we're only 30 minutes away from the Brecon Beacons. We have classic localities in Snowdonia that people can visit. We've got world heritage sites, the Blynavon Ironworks and the Big Pit Colliery. Every student has at least two overseas field trips during their programme, going to places like Cyprus, Tenerife, Spain. They also get the opportunity to do fieldwork as part of their bachelor's and master's dissertation projects and recently some students have taken the opportunity to do projects in 
Africa, in Malaysia, in Norway. For the marine geographers, we've got a boat, so you go to sea, you measure things, you get trained in the skills that you'll need in your future careers. You can also do four-year extended undergraduate programmes which are research-led for the better students who want a career maybe in academia or industrial research. One of the great things about being a student in Cardiff is the city itself. It's a compact city, a capital city. It's a great city to study in. It's not too big, not too small. There's something for everyone, I think. The School of Earth and Ocean Sciences at Cardiff University is dedicated to obtaining the highest possible standards in research and education, but also to provide our staff and students with an inspiring research-led environment in which they can all perform to the best of their abilities and to the benefit of society.